It is, for the spectator at least, often the climax of a ballet performance like Swan Lake. The 32 turns or fouettes, when even a slight loss of balance or dizziness could ruin the momentum. It was thought that a ballet dancer's ability was purely down to training. But research carried out by Imperial College London using this special chair suggests that a dancer's perception of spinning lasted a shorter time than a group of athletes. MRI scans also showed that the area of the brain responsible for the sense of dizziness was reduced. In dancers, we found that this area in blue, that the grey matter in the cerebellum is actually smaller. And this was... Uh, related to the amount of practice they did because we found that the more experienced the dancer, the smaller the area. Ryan is, needs to find a mark or an object on the wall that is able to look at for as long as possible. As at goes. Central School of Ballet in the east of London, they use this training disc to teach their pupils how to turn using the spotting technique. But it also helps him to stop getting dizzy if dancers can become resistant to feeling dizzy, if they can train themselves not to fall off balance, then researchers think that they can apply the same principles to helping patients. Chronic dizziness affects one in four Britons at some point in their lives, and for some people it can be extremely debilitating. Tamara Rojo is a principal ballerina and artistic director of the English National Ballet. The company already offers a program of dance to help Parkinson's sufferers. The brain learns, just like you learn with me through my years of, of, of exercise and my years of practice and training. The same way you can actually help the brain to relearn th certain things, relearn how to balance, relearn how to walk in a straight line. For those with dizziness, dancing could be a therapy in the future. Luisa Baldini, BBC News.